so here we have two lenses one is convex another one is concave <coughs> let's first identify which is a convex lens let's look at this lens you can see there's a bulge at the center and at the edge it is tapering so this is a convex lens and on the other side I have a concave lens So here you can see the edge is wide and the center is tapering at the center. So if I could touch this lens over here, you will feel a curve, a curvature inward. And the edges of a concave lens will be wide compared to edges of a convex lens let me show you again look at the outer edge of both the lenses right so what we have here is setup is for both the lenses we have placed a candle as an object in both the cases and let us now try to look from the other side of the lens for the image through our eyes and also through the camera so when I look through this concave lens, I see that the image is now diminished. That is my actual size. That is the actual size of the object. And when I go down, you can see that the image is diminished. And I see an upright image of the object. If I go even more closer, I can see the second candle where it is again diminished. So this is the image formed by the concave lens. Let me go to convex lens over here and look at the image form. As you can see, the image is now inverted in the case of a convex lens and also magnified. The object is there. I am looking through the convex lens and this is what it looks like. <laughs> this is also what it looks like through my naked eyes. There are no camera tricks involved. Now let us try to see if we can project these images on this white screen. I have not made any changes here. Let me put up the screen. Here we go. Let me try first with the concave lens. I'm not getting any image on the screen. Let me try to move the candle closer towards the concave lens. Nothing. I brought the candle so close and I'm getting nothing on the screen. Let me take it away. I've gone so far but absolutely nothing. Let me try with the convex lens. I'm moving the candle. And as you can see there is some spot formed on the screen. Let me keep moving my candle till I get a clear image. I'm getting something. Yes, I have a clear image of the flame. So conclusion, 
the convex lens gives you a real image whereas a concave lens gives me virtual image which means that a real image can be projected on a screen and virtual image cannot be projected over a screen so if I place a screen I cannot get the rays to actually meet I am getting this because the rays are actually meeting over here so if I block these rays if I block these rays by putting my hand the image is not formed on the screen I am blocking it so when I say I am blocking it this is what it will look like because at this point the rays are not actually meeting where are the rays meeting they are meeting at this point why they are meeting at this point because for this convex lens having a very specific focal length at this object distance image is formed at this distance that is what we do in a numericals so let's quickly have a look at the image formed through our eyes